The Amazons are an all-female society who live on Paradise Island, which is shielded from the rest of the world using magic. But the problem with an all-female society is that it's doomed to failure, as they will eventually all die off, and without men, they can't reproduce. Now, in some versions of the Amazons, they don't actually age, so they don't really need to procreate. But in other versions, the Amazons do age, and they do need males to make more Amazons. But since men aren't allowed to set foot on Paradise Island, this becomes a bit tricky. So the Amazon solution to this is simple. They go to sea and find ships with men on board. Then they board these ships and offer themselves to the men. Now, supposedly most of these men are willing. And to be fair, I imagine if a boat full of beautiful women offered themselves to most seamen, they'd probably say yes. But the problem is the Amazons also force themselves on those that aren't willing. And then after the sex, they kill all the men and dump the bodies overboard. The irony of this is that the Amazons are always going on about how barbaric and brutal man's world is, which, when you look at this, is very hypocritical of them. And I tell you now, this path is folly. We are to unite the world's people, lessen man's rages, overcome them with compassion and love. Now, assuming that all the women who get pregnant give birth to a girl, that's fine. But if they give birth to a boy, well, boys aren't allowed on the island. And in the olden days, they used to just execute the boys there and then. But as time passed, they instead started selling the boys as slaves in exchange for weapons. They sell them to the god Hephaestus, who says he buys them in order to save their lives. Though he does still keep them as slaves, so I'm not really sure how altruistic this is. And that is how the Amazons keep up their numbers, through rape, murder, and child slavery. And this has always been one of the problems I have with the Amazons. They're violent hypocrites. They condemn man's world as being violent, yet every single member of their so-called better society is trained as a warrior. They're taught to fight from day one, and yet they say we're the violent ones, where in our society, over 90% of the population don't go into the military so we're actually a lot less violent than the Amazons are. And they're also backwards and just crazy sexist towards men. I guess I just have a problem with anyone who teaches hate. We don't teach hatred, except when it comes to men. And I guess the real problem with the Amazons is that they're just stuck in the past, whereas the rest of the world has moved on and made advancements in society. Whereas the Amazons train all their children in olden ways of fighting and battle, we've invented new jobs, new sciences, and expanded and advanced. How dare you? I'm an Amazon! An obsolete race with predictable techniques. The Amazons also have this holier-than-thou attitude. They think they're better than everyone else, and they think that that means they can do whatever they want and act however they want ignoring the fact that their society is guilty of every crime that they claim man's world is committing. And while it is true that in some parts of the world there is still a lot of sexism against women, and I'm not saying that's right, because it isn't. These women were beaten and penned in tiger cages for the rebels to... use. What I'm saying is that a large part of the world has grown and developed. As I say, they just have backwards and prehistoric views on these things. Now, all of this isn't true in the case of every version of the Amazons, and of course it differs from Amazon to Amazon. But in basically all the versions of the Amazons, they do preach hate. Admittedly, it's just against men, but that is still hate and prejudice, which I just don't agree with. But what do you think of all this? Do you think what the Amazons are doing to the men on ships is as messed up as I do? And what do you think about the Amazons' philosophy on man's world being automatically evil? Do you agree? Or do you think they're being hypocrites? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.